Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about projects and particularly how projects can help you and your business. Now, in QuickBooks Online, projects was released about two years or so. And prior to projects, we were always using workarounds to be able to make sure that we can look at those minute details within set of accounts. Because ultimately from a business, if you look at a year end and you look at a profit and loss, that's really useful. But it, what's even more useful is to understand on a project by project basis, A, if you're profitable, how much and what your learnings are from that particular one. So join me as I go and look into projects within QuickBooks Online and we go and understand exactly how it works. Stay tuned. Hey, I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo. That QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of accounts over at Boffix. Now today we're going to look at projects. Projects within QuickBooks Online, first of all, you need to, need to make sure that you've got a compatible version of QuickBooks Online. It's only available in the Plus version, which is the highest tier available in the UK. And if it's not already, so you just need to make sure it's turned on within the settings. So before we go any further, let's just make sure you have QuickBooks projects available to use. Let's have a look. Okay, so in QuickBooks Online, we're going to go up to the company cog. We're going to go to accounts and settings. We're going to go to advance and under advance, we're going to make sure that under where it says projects, we go on and we've got a little tick box on there. Now projects is one of those settings you can turn on and off. So do make sure you've got it turned on. But what is projects really for? Well, the reason that projects is around is about if you're trying to think about how your business is doing and you've got multiple projects going on at the same time, you want to be able to track those projects. See, if you raise an invoice against project ABC, for example, and then you have some expenses against project ABC, you want to be making sure that that project is still profitable for you. And this is where the projects area in QuickBooks Online really gives you that opportunity to look, gives you that chance to be able to report against a particular project. And that means that you can then run fancy reports, have a look at wonderful insights and basically make sure that your business is going in the right direction. So let's explore the projects area first before we start looking into a little bit more detail. Basically on your left hand side you'll see there's now a projects option just here. Clicking on the projects option gives you an opportunity to see exactly what's going on on your projects dashboard. And from here we can get a breakdown of what projects we've got going at the moment and we can understand how to create new projects as well. At the top here, you get a handy see how it all works button. Down here, you get the chance to filter between these particular items here, and that's gonna make this list more easy to contain with. And this list is all your projects you've got going at this point in time. Up here, we have the chance to create a brand new project. We'll explore that in a moment. And up here, we've got the chance to set your hourly cost rate. Now the hourly cost rate is really useful. See, when it comes to projects, when you're looking at putting the cost and income together, majority of your income and expenses are quite straightforward. Income wise, it's going to be your invoices or sales receipts you've got associated against project. And within your expenses, you're either going to have direct expenses. So think about when you go and buy some materials or whatever it's going to be for against that particular project. But then you're also going to have indirect expenses. Those expenses that are very important to the project itself but you're not buying or paying just because of that particular project. So what I'm talking about here is things like salary. Now, if you've got a salaried member of staff, it doesn't matter if they do two projects in a particular week or one project in a week or zero projects in the week. If they're salaried, more than likely you're going to be paying them the same amount. So the only way we can associate the true cost against a particular project is to do a time analysis. And that's where QuickBooks becomes really useful because built in directly into QuickBooks is a whole timesheet option where that's fantastic. And also you have all those third party options like T-sheets or what is now QuickBooks time. So really you've got loads of ways in which you can get that time data into QuickBooks. But how does QuickBooks deal with them in the projects area? That's what we're going to look at now. You see at the top here is the hourly cost rate. I click into the hourly cost rate and I can create individual people. When I add a new employee, I get to put their name in. 
But once I've done with that, I can use this handy little pencil button here and this calculator button to really figure out what their true cost is. So I can put their wages per hour, some taxes and overhead costs, press add, and that's gonna give me a true reflection of what cost I should have per there. And again, I can either include these in myself or I can get the employee to fill in a timesheet. All I need to do is go company cog, manage users. And when I add a new user, I can select time tracking only, which means that that particular person we've invited could only have access to doing timesheets and nothing else. And our timesheets are found in the new button, employees, single time activity, or weekly timesheets. From a weekly point of view, they basically get a really handy table where they can complete what they've done on a day-by-day -day basis. Okay, so you've got your employees set up. How do you create that first and important project? Well, all we do is we go to the new project button on the top right-hand corner. From there, we press new project and we give the project a name. So I'm gonna call this project one. You then choose what customer it's related to. In this case, we're gonna go Bob the Builder. And then we get to choose any notes that might be relevant to it. And then press save. Once we've done that, we're shown our actual project area. Now this is where we're gonna be working on this particular project. So from here, we can straight away see that we've got the name project at the top, what customer it related to, a place for our notes, a way to make it one of our favorite projects so we can find it easily, and a chance to say if it's in progress or not. And in front of us, we can see how our project is doing. And any transactions we already have associated with it. And it's inviting me from this area to create new transactions. Now, if you create your transactions directly in here, that means they're automatically gonna be added to the project, which is exactly what you want. You see, the way projects work, if I was just gonna create a brand new transaction, say an expense, for example, the projects area, you'd fill exactly the same as you would normally, putting in the cost of that transaction, but it's all about this area here, customer and project. And if I drop down this here, and I looked at Bob the Builder, you can see I have all these projects available, including my brand new project one. So it's this area here that's critical for you to assign this particular expense or this income against the right project. So from this page, it's inviting me to create transactions, or I can use this add to project and I can start putting these expenses in as well. Now, if I jump to a more mature project, if you like, that's already got transactions in. So from here, we can see that Mr. and Mrs. Smith, new kitchen refurb, there's the income we have so far, and they're the expenses, giving us a 50% project margin. And it's all really handy in the terms that we can see this directly from here. You can see that it's still looking for what information that we can put in there. So it's still giving us a chance to add maybe more costs or more bills. But you can see on here, we've got some income, hourly time costs, and costs of goods sold. You can see this broken down really easy for us in these handy little areas. And we even have the chance over here to print or export. And we can see from a payroll expense or an hourly cost view. Once we jump into transactions, we can see what information has been put against this project. And we can jump into any of these and make any adjustments if we need to. We can look at our time activity and see what time activity has been put against this particular project so far. And we can jump into project reports to really see how our projects are doing. So we can look at our profit pro project profitability, where it's gonna take a breakdown of that P&L account for us and show us what transactions we've got in there so far. We can look at time cost by employer or supplier, telling us exactly what time has been associated against this, co this project and what cost we've, we've got against that. And when finally we've got unbilled time and expenses, meaning if there's any expenses or time that we haven't yet billed for the client, we're then gonna make sure that we're gonna include that on the next report. And what we find projects works really well in conjunction with is the new feature, which is called progress invoicing. And the idea of progress invoicing is the fact that you can raise an estimate within QuickBooks Online, and then you can actually spread the way that you actually raise that estimate over the time.
Let's have a see what that means. Well, what we can do here is imagine that to this project, we're going to create a brand new estimate and we're going to tell them it's for phase two. And let's say it's for five days. Now we've agreed with the customer. Once I press save and close and got that estimate to them, we've agreed with the customer that basically when I create an invoice, we're going to charge them 45% up front and then we're going to split the rest of the invoice later down the line when we've completed it. And using progress invoicing, it's going to record for me that this is 45% of it. And it means the rest of my estimate is ready and waiting for me when I come to claim the next one. All I do is save and close. All I do is save and close. It's just like every other estimate and invoice. It's going to work accordingly. But with that progress invoicing, it gives me a chance to be able to split that estimate over the time that I need it. Really cool. On my dashboard, I get the option to press print. Give me the chance to print out how my projects are going. This could be really useful if you're doing things like work in progress at the end of a particular year. And from this one dashboard, I can see exactly how my money is going and how my different projects are going at this point in time. You can filter down to the different projects for the different customers. So for example, if I just want Bob the Builder to show what projects are available, or for any of my other customers, I can see what projects are available for those particular ones. So there we have it, a look at projects. Now, what do you think? I personally absolutely love projects. It's one of those ways where we can make sure that when we're working with clients, that we're making sure they have the information they need to understand how their business is truly going. Because if you think about it, if you've got your project set up, then maybe just maybe that one particular project you lose out on, at least you know you've lost out on it, and at least then you can start learning from it. If you were none the wiser, you might continue charging at the same amount or looking at the same suppliers or whatever the reason is that that project didn't become profitable for you, you might continue to make the same mistakes if you wasn't aware that the project itself was a problem. Using projects gives you that information, lets you understand Using projects gives you that information, lets you understand exactly how your business is doing and gives you a chance to act on it accordingly. My name's been Aaron Patrick. Let me know in the comments below, is projects something that you're gonna start using? If so, if you are thinking about using projects and you haven't quite got the right version of QuickBooks, consider going over to my friends over at Boffix and we now have an e-store where you can actually go in and actually buy discounted version of QuickBooks. Because we love QuickBooks, and we especially love how innovations like projects means that businesses are actually getting the most out of the QuickBooks product and being able to make a meaningful difference to the way businesses are run. So we wanna make sure that QuickBooks is available to as many people as possible. Look in my description below for more details. So that's it, projects in an absolute nutshell. Again, I absolutely love projects. It's one of those things that we use on a regular basis and hopefully you can start using it too. Now, if you want a more deep dive into projects, let me know below. That could be something we could arrange. We could put some video together of exactly how it works in a more real life scenario. My name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Somebody say yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want, if you want I can be a fighter, I can be a fighter Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah
Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.